Hi students, welcome to my video, Engineering Graphics. I am Dr. Vinod Kumar, Adjunct Professor in Kochi University of Science and Technology, Kochi. In this video, Development of Surfaces 12, we discuss a problem that has come for QSAT. It's a hexagonal prism, 30 mm side, 65 mm axis. Hexagonal prism, 30 mm side, 65 mm axis, standing on its base on HP with the two base sides parallel to BP or two rectangular faces parallel to BP. Two base edges parallel to BP. I have drawn the plan and elevation. Plan and elevation of the hexagonal prism, 30 mm side of base and 65 mm axis. Now, this prism has a cylindrical hole drilled through that. A cylindrical hole of 40 mm diameter drilled so that the whole axis meet the prism axis. So find the center of the prism axis, draw a circle of 40 diameter, that is 20 radius. This is it. Agreed? This is the uh, lateral surface development of the prism, that's the development of the lateral surface. You have to show the changes in the development because of the presence of the hole. Because of the presence of the hole, whatever changes come, mark, uh, be marked there. Okay, now, I draw a vertical projector through this extreme position of the circuit and on this side also. I call this M dash and this is N dash. I drop it down. This is M, this is N, this is M1, this is N1. So four points here and there. Now I mark the point. This also I mark to actually pass through the center. I call this Q and Q1. Now I mark the points. 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, 4 dash, 5 dash, 6 dash, 7 dash, 8 dash. Where is 1? One? 1 is on that additional vertical line at M. So where is M? M is on the way from A to B. Measure this distance and mark M. Same is the distance of N from D towards C. D towards C. N. Same is the distance of N1 from D. Dn is equal to Dn1. N1. AM is equal to AM1. L F F to A F to A Draw vertical lines to Okay Now Actually, M has to be nearer to F. Okay. Okay, correct. Correct. Okay. Nearer to B. M has to be nearer to A actually. This distance is slightly different. M. Okay. Now, A to M, A to M, A to M1, A to M1, it will come somewhere here. Okay. Now, where is one? One is on the additional vertical line through M. One, five, is it it? 5, 1, because it enters from here and goes out through there, 2, 2 and 4 in the same vertical line, 2, 4, 4, 
टू थ्री थ्री इज ऑन दिस एडिशनल लेटर क्यू 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 वन क्यू क्यू वन थ्री थ्री एट सिक्स सिक्स एट सेवन सेवन हाउ टू कनेक्ट दम वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव Actually, when you draw this arc two to four, two to four is on a flat surface, and hence it is circular. That means this is the center, this is the radius. You can draw an arc; it will pass through C. Actually, it can be drawn with compass. This part two, three, four, six, seven, eight, six, seven, eight, two, three, four can be drawn with the help of a compass because they are specific part of a circle which can be drawn as arc. One, two, and one eight. One, two, and one eight. One, two, and one, eight, and similarly, four, five, and five, six, four, five, and five, six are drawn with the help of freehand curve. It is always advisable to take two additional vertical edges so that this gap, the uncertainty in, in this gap, can be reduced. But we don't. Uh, we have got other problems so also to draw. You cannot spare a lot of time. But once you have got an idea about the shape, you can easily draw. Not a difficult question. Comparatively, this discuss. This has come for you said. If the hole instead of a circular hole is a squarish hole, etc., no, you will have straight lines because this is a prism. In a prism, if the hole is uh, squarish or pentagonal or triangular, you will have straight lines. On a prism, if it is, if the hole is circular, you will have smooth curve. On a cylinder, whether it is circular or uh, squarish or whatever it is, you will have only curves. I hope you understand. Okay. Thank you.